All right, so once you get into vocab.com for the first time, and actually this video that you see right now, it's going to be the same exact video for every one of the assignments because the process is the same. The only thing that's going to change is the assignment that you're working on. You're going to see down here under class assignments when you sign in, you have all these different word lists and note the due date on each one. The due date should line up with the due date for the assignment that's on Canvas. So you're going to start. The first one you'll do is words 1 through 10, but this video is going to be posted for the rest of them also just because the process is the same. You're going to click the link to start the video. Now, for me, I have this already 100% mastered. This is what you're looking for. It's right here. You want to have 100% mastered right there. And I'm going to go back and see if I can find a list I don't have mastered yet. There we go. So when you start a new list, here's what it looks like. Now the most important button for you to hit is Add to Learning Program. When you click Add to Learning Program, it now shows you your progress mastering the list. You need to get up to 98% at least on the progress of mastering the list, which is different than just completing one practice session. So you're going to keep playing this game up here until you get this progress list to 98%. Now remember, you don't have to do this all in one day. That's why there's one list a week per, per week that's due. I would go 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes at a time and go on and do something else that you need to do for the class. So what you do is you just read the word and figure out. And if you need some help, there's these different help, per, help buttons down here. Now notice if you do these help bu buttons, you are going to not advance as quickly towards mastering the list. So use them if you need them, but if you don't need them, don't use them. So, challenging means ambiguous? Nope, that wasn't it. Take another look. Challenging means dingy? Nope, that wasn't it. Challenging means crafty? I like crafts. They're challenging. Nope. Challenging means, okay, difficult. Alright, and then they give you a written explanation over here. It's probably a really good idea to read it, especially if you weren't familiar with what this word was. And then, go on to the next thing. So, you go through, and I'm going to pause and show you some different interfaces in a second. All right, so I just finished a round, and I just want to show you what it looks like. And it kind of goes over your analytics for, like, finishing a round. But then you keep going on, because remember, what you're trying to do is get this up to 98%. So I'm going to keep answering a few more questions. I'm going to pause this video and come back when I'm done. All right, I'm having trouble getting to the one type of question I wanted to show you. But sometimes you will have a sentence, and there's a blank, and then it's asking you to spell the word but it doesn't have the word up there, there's going to be like a little sound icon you click, and it'll say the sound out loud. It's checking to see if you can spell the word, but you're not supposed to guess what the word is. There's a little sound icon you look for. So if you ever see a sentence with a blank in it, look for the little sound icon, and it'll read the sound out loud, and then you spell it. All right, so that's how you do each of these lists. When you get down to 98%, what I want you to do is take a screen snip that shows that you're at 98% or higher, and then turn it in for the given list. All right, you're going to do this for every single one of these lists. Just pay attention to due dates.